you good at fixing things? Lots of you told us what you like to do in your spare time or your favourite subjects at school and your author biographies. They were really fun to read. I think this author, Monty, must be good at fixing things because his story is called Squeaky the Mechanic and Monty goes to Clive Primary School. Chapter One, The Big Crash. Squeaky zoomed along the road, one arm flung out of the window, another loosely holding onto the steering wheel. Wow, I look cool in my car, he thought to himself as he tried desperately to look over the windscreen. It was almost fate, just as Squeaky lost control of the car and crashed into a busy pedestrian area, a sign floated down onto his windscreen. Calling all exceptional drivers, come to the rally track this Saturday, 25th of June, 2021. This was Squeaky's calling. Chapter two, the sign up. Without a doubt, Squeaky signed up for the race. From that day on, he spent all day and all night in his garage, creating his rally car. The car of the century included a cannon and a super turbo engine. Lil Squeaky, come and see this. His pet guinea pig, Lil Squeaky, ran in and started to lick the tyres of the car. Stop and I'll give you a treat. Chapter three. Build build, build. Lil Squeaky ran in and leaped into a box and Squeaky gave him a treat. All righty then, let's race. They drove all the way to the racetrack feeling a mix of nervousness and excitement, narrowly avoiding the old lady with the walking stick for the second time, I may add. He finally made it there with zero casualties. It was massive. The golden Honda. Chapter four, the race. Squeaky's heart was practically coming out of his chest. He was that nervous. Squeaky ready to race. He drove to the starting line. On your marks, get set, go. The gunshot rang out and Squeaky slammed hard on the accelerator. After five minutes into the race, Squeaky decided he would grab a quick drink. Slurp, gloop. This slushy is delicious and would go nicely with a bag of popcorn, Squeaky thought to himself as he fished around in the car for the snack. Chapter five, winner. Found it. Oh, come on, it's empty. Whilst enjoying his snack break, what Squeaky didn't realise was that he was veering towards the crowd we're in danger. Time to go, he thought to himself. I know. I have a quad bike in the back. Splutter, the engine went as it crashed into the barriers. Let's get out of here, Squeaky shouted as he leaped onto the bike. Sorry, Squeaky screamed behind him as he faded into the distance. Chapter six, the apology. Squeaky zoomed along the road as he thought to himself, I better make it up to them. He made it home just in time to see Hammy the hamster, his best friend. Hammy, I need your help. Chapter seven, can we fix it? What is it this time, Squeaky? Squeaky explained the rally race catastrophe to Hammy. They gathered the materials to fix the cars. It was the best they could do. Squeaky and Hammy, can you fix it? They sang all the way to the stadium. They started to fix the cars. And Squeaky realised he wasn't good at driving cars, but he was good at fixing them. How can we possibly repay you? Hmm, Squeaky had the best idea. Can I build a garage in your stadium? Chapter eight, mechanic. 
From that day on, Squeaky was known far and wide as the best mechanic in the world. Man, I am good at fixing cars. As a spanner fell off a shelf and bonked him on the head. Ow! The end. And that story was Squeaky the Mechanic. And the author is Monty and he goes to Clive School. Well done, Monty.